Hey guys, welcome back to my Delft programming series. My name is Sean Versalt. This is basically basically just a, a practice video to practice the for loop. Um, I've written two problems for us which we can do. Let, let, let's do the first one. So key in a word, Harry Potter, I'd convert it to capitals in a label of the for loop. Let's first do this one. So let's add a labeled edit. I'm not too lazy. Let's just add a doesn't have to look nice now. Align it to top. Let's get a button. Top. And then another label. Oops, there must be a, la a label. A label. Top. Basically, it just increase the font size to 16. Okay. Remove the text for the init the head component and the caption for the okay and the caption for the label component and also name the button caption to bookcase. Let's call this one um, capitals. Okay, so let's start coding. This is edit one and level one capitals using a for loop variable i for one type integer and s new type string. For uh, I for one until from one until the, the length of add one dot text. Let's first set is new to empty string. Let's say do begin. We must say s new colon equals s new plus the upcase of edit one dot text and the i for one character. Do we just display it? That needs a closing bracket. Number one dot one dot. Caption colon equals is new. So let's enter Harry Potter and it works. And we could also um, like have used of course just is new colon equals upper case at one dot text as I'll show you guys now. This is cheating because this the question was to use a for loop, but yeah, you guys could also have used um, the uppercase function, just a bit of revision, but not not in this video because it, it asks it asked for a for loop. Okay, so let's do the next question. Okay. Key in a word. I love rainbows and convert it to small letters in a label with the for loop. So let's do this. Will look pretty much pretty pretty much the same. I for one of type integer and then is new of type string. Let's say is new probably was empty for I for one. Sorry for my sniffing. And length is one dot text. To now you guys can know if it's if it's if it's just um one one line of code between the beginning and end, you can actually leave out the beginning and end if it's if it's just one line. If it's more than one line, you'll need to add the beginning and end. 
so we might as well just leave it out or go again is new count equals is new plus the lower case of if one dot text and the i for one character and then we'll just basically display it again because we can and we should yes so he and i love rainbows and uh, in smaller smaller case or small letters but basically if this video guide it was, it was just a small practice video to show you guys how to um, convert um, strings to lowercase and uppercase without um, directly with doing doing it doing it with a for loop and yes yeah, also I also make a, another another few practice videos um, for the for loop because it will need some practice and I'll see you in the next video bye